Watching TV, a popular pastime in West and East. But Eastern viewers often prefer Western programs. This is about to change. Entertainment is to replace propaganda. The new schedule's flagship program, Ein Kessel Buntes, on the 29th of January 1972, A Kettle of Color, premieres on GDR-TV. One of the three presenters is Berliner Lutz Stückrath. The three dialecticians were not only to provide satirical entertainment, but also cast a critical eye on life in the East, an unusual liberty. 1972, had it felt like things were going in a new direction in 1972. The Ulbricht era was over. We could breathe again, and it felt like there was a change in the air in entertainment and the arts. There was this kind of hope that things would get better and more tolerant. These are real Levi's. What the hell are you doing? Hey, strip teases are only for Leipzig trade fair guests in exchange for hard currency. Look how times change. They wanted to chuck me out of the free German youth 15 years ago because of my rivet pants, and today my old youth leaders are the one making sure they're in the shops. <laughs> I think that Kessel helped knock a really small hole in the wall. Maybe the very first hole. We were able to look through to the other side. Artists came over here and found out about how we lived and we heard about their lives. The very first series of Kessel features stars from home and abroad. Frank Schöbel performs next to West Berliner Manuela and Frenchman Daniel Gerard. Its glamorous lineup quickly turns Kessel into the showpiece of East German TV entertainment. The show is a huge hit. This here, an authentic dirt removal appliance. Does it work? It has been known to. Hey, what's that? This here is the backup unit. But the SED leaders have soon had enough satirical punches and bring the three dialecticians back into line. I was accused of being politically tactless and denigrating the working class. It was pretty strong stuff. We didn't really let it change our act, though. But they did muzzle us to a certain extent. They killed our satirical bite.